Hello, in this video I will show how to convert a brooder toy into an RC toy. The objective is to be cheap, quick and dirty. So with a total of 35 euro including battery, charger, servos, you will have this toy converted. So we will see now how to build it, how to connect the wires and finally also a quick programming on the Taranis because if you see it is not going back to the central position. Now it's running with a single cell battery 4.2 volt but if you go with a boost converter to 5 volt it will have even more torque. Let's get started. First you need to cut the wheel axle then you need to uh, hit the axle with the plier. Remove the clips uh, to detach the body. Mark the axle at the middle of the front wheels. And once it's uh, trimmed at the right measure, you can check with the front wheels. Then, since the axle is glued in the servo, you need to cut a slot in order to fit the servo in the body. Now you have to lower all the parts on the bottom of the frame, otherwise the wheels they will touch on the fender. This is where you need to lower. I will now make two dents in order for a um, uniball push rod to be placed here. Now let's drill a hole on the front part of the frame in order to put a screw that will hold the uniball. Now we make a hole on the frame in order to, for the metal push shot to pass inside the frame. Let's connect the ball with the screw. You have also to remove this little part here, otherwise the wheel may touch it. Then I have uh, this uh, piece of metal here. It fits exactly here. Then still in servo here. The servo is falling too far in the front because it's hitting this bar with the, with the servo mount. So we have to cut the servo mount with the plier. Then I glued the two wheels at the axles. I know there are probably better ways but uh, this is the quick and dirt method. I used hot glue with glitters because my child was playing with the hot glue. You will find a link in the description how to modify a servo to become a constant turning motor. Then you have again the same servo here in order to lift this big arm. And here you have to cut one slot, otherwise when you are going down you may touch the servo. You need to remove this part here and also this part here. This is the only position that came to my mind. The servo is in place just with the hot glue and you have to scratch the surface of the servo and this is holding very good. Then you have another small servo here in this position. And here the trick is to put um, a bend piece of metal here that goes through all the part. I added one slot here, battery charger here, and two little holes here so you can see the LED when the battery is fully charged or still charging. And a switch. I placed the switch here, but this is not a very smart position because this may disturb when you are putting the plug on the USB. The battery is a single cell lithium ion with the Captain tape on the side and I will hot glue it here. Everything super quick and dirt. Now I connect the battery to the charger. Let's connect the battery plug, which is coming out from the um, battery charger, to a random channel of the receiver. This is a four channel receiver. I will attach it on channel one. And here is just a duplicated of channel 1, so I will attach it at the steering servo, like this. Then I connect the channel 2, which is the throttle, this one is going to this servo, and I attach it directly at the receiver, no speed controller. Then we have 
this servo here, random channel, let's say three. And then this, I will attach it at the channel four. That's it, we are done. Now I will show how to build the mixing that keeps the position when the stick is in the center. This is the channel 3, is the one which is keeping the position. It has to have three inputs. The trick is that the main input is the channel itself. So channel 3 input is channel 3 and it is 100%. and the multiplex is additional. Then you need to add the real input, which is the rudder. In this case, this is my rudder. You have input only 3%, offset 0, trim it 0, and you have an expo, 50% exponential. And then this is depending by logical switch tree. This signal will pass only if it is above 2%. Then you have a limiter, maximum, and limiter at the minimum. The maximum limiter is just giving 100% of the channel when the logical switch 4 applies. So if the input is above 100%, I will just replace the value you see, replace the value with 100%. The three logical switches are LO3, LO4, LO5. That's it, thanks for watching.